November. South Florida has lost a titan in business and sports. Wayne Huizinga, former owner of the Miami Dolphins, the Florida Panthers and the Marlins, died late Thursday at the age of 80. He was also the man behind so much more, including AutoNation and Blockbuster Video. But for many, it's his generosity that will be missed most. H. Wayne Huizinga, whose late wife Marty died just over a year ago from cancer, succumbed to cancer himself at his Fort Lauderdale home late Thursday night after a years-long battle and saying goodbyes in recent days to his sons and daughter. My brothers and myself all, you know, one by one went and told him we loved him, that he was an amazing father and that we were in good shape and that it was time for him to go and join mom in heaven. Turning trash to cash, Heisinga founded Waste Management Company in 1962 when he bought one used garbage truck for $5,000. He would go on to found Blockbuster Entertainment, later selling it for $8.5 billion. And he founded AutoNation, the largest car dealer in the country. Originally from Chicago, Heisinga at one point in the 90s owned the Miami Dolphins, the then Florida Marlins, and the Florida Panthers. The sports world reeling from the loss. Don Shula was quoted in this touching tribute posted to Twitter by the Miami Dolphins saying, quote, As wonderful as he was as an owner, he was an even better person. We lost a great family man, businessman, and sportsman, philanthropist, and friend. Heisinga's Florida Marlins won the World Series in 1997. He took the Florida Panthers to the Stanley Cup Finals in 1996. He once said his only regret was never winning a Super Bowl championship with the Miami Dolphins. The billionaire was as generous as he was wealthy. The Heisinga Family Foundation gave millions, largely to programs benefiting children. He was a major supporter of Nova Southeastern University, who named its business school for him. All the good works that he did for all those organizations of great need from children to education, it's vast and deep. Buildings and roads bear his name, but Heisinga's son says with all his wealth, his father didn't know the meaning of greed. Heisinga's cancer was never publicly revealed. He is survived by three sons and a daughter and 13 grandchildren. A memorial service will be held Thursday morning at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts. You talk about one man, really one family, because his wife was very involved in their philanthropy as well, but having such a major impact on an area of the country. I mean, South Florida wouldn't be South Florida without the Heisingas. Exactly. Huge impact and, and really paying it forward to this day in so many ways. Quite a legacy. 